Two teens are charged with murder in the shooting death of 17-year-old Antoine Walker Jr. Walker was shot and killed Tuesday night and is the fifth child to be gunned down on Toledo streets this year. Michael Sandlin is live for us tonight. Michael, you talked to some community advocates who are working really hard to prevent violent acts like this. So how do they say this can be done? Well, Melissa, these community leaders say the best way to divert kids from getting into a life of gangs and crime is to catch them at a young age and encourage them to pursue positive influences instead. They say it's the least they can do to try to prevent more kids from going to an early grave. At one time, Malik Smith was a gangster in the Smith Park neighborhood where he grew up. But he says as he grew older and became a father, he realized how damaging the lifestyle is and he walked away. It's not worth it. You out here gang banging, fighting, shooting, for what? What's the cause? Tired of seeing kids fall into the same culture he did and then get shot, Smith has spent the last four years encouraging kids in his neighborhood to walk a different path. And he does so by being a mentor, bringing up fights, encouraging nonviolence, and building neighborhood unity through cookouts and pool parties. But he says in order for real change to happen citywide, more people need to step up. It's gonna take these big homies, these people that they look up to, to take the initiative to step forward, to tell them, come on, this ain't right, let's do this. You could just take a kid to McDonald's and have a talk with them. That will go a long way with that kid, man. And Smith isn't the only one who sees the value in presenting positive influences to kids. Tremaine Rayford is the founder and director of The Program, Inc., a nonprofit teaching fatherless children ages 7 to 18 essential life skills. Uh, teaching young men every, everything from how to tie a tie to financial literacy. Uh, this weekend we have an event uh, teaching young men how to handle tools. Rayford has been working with kids who need the skills for five years now. Fatherless children are normally 20 times more likely to end up in prison. But Rayford says their research shows that having an involved mentor leads to an incredible transformation in their lives. They are 46 percent less likely to use drugs. The, they're 86 percent uh, more likely to get involved with uh, extracurricular activities, and there are 55 percent more chances to, to enroll in college. And Smith says his mentorship has shown similar results in Smith Park. Crime is down, kids are comfortable playing outside, and he even invites people in other neighborhoods who want to turn things around to reach out to him on Facebook by searching for Abdul Malik. And the program makes free event teaching kids how to use tools is this Saturday at the Marina Lofts. Reporting in studio, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.